Another month and another update. Thank you to everyone that watched my February update. As promised last month, Nautis has launched their new logo for Nautis Home. After careful consideration, we, Nautis, chose a logo that reflects our innovative solution and captures the immersiveness of our ship simulation software. I'll have to say I like it. It's direct and to the point and the ship's coming right at you. Let's start off with the most uh, interesting stuff, the sneak peeks. Last month they shared the environments of Rotterdam, Rio de Janeiro, and Hong Kong. This time they've added the harbor of Sydney. Practice your navigation skills in this beautiful harbor that is home to Australia's biggest attractions. It is a joy to sail this beautiful port overlooking Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House. Nautis has also added another vessel to the library. The, well, I don't know if I can say it right, the Zone Ned DL. If you know how to say it better, let me know. This 110 meter long inland tanker will be a nice challenge to sail. Ideal for practice maneuvering with traffic and training on your mooring skills. Next, we have updates from several of the uh, people in the development teams that would give insight into what's going on behind the scenes. First is a word from a project engineer who's overseeing the development of Nautis Home. Part of my function is to determine and detail the scope of Nautis Home. We have many ideas, but also want to work towards a first release. So, we are determining what to put into the scope and what to move to the roadmap for future development. Up next, our user experience designer who takes on projects with a user-centric focus. My job is to make sure Nautis Home is as user-friendly as possible. From high-level flows, such as the way you create an account, to small details of the design of the controls of the ship. Currently, I am working on user flow of the signup process and fine tuning the menus around the simulator. Another multitasker in the team, one of our software engineers. I like to work on many different elements for Nautis Home, but lately my focus lies on optimizing the user experience and iterating our internal test. Next to that, I'm also making sure the correct content, like ships and environments, will be included for the release. Q&A, your questions answered. We have collected the most frequently asked questions. If your question is not listed below, don't worry. We'll include it in our future communication. What training modes does Nautis Home have? Nautis Home contains two training modes, free roaming and scenarios. In the free roam setting, you can select your own vessel, weather, and ocean conditions. Ideal for exploring, experimenting, and sailing independently. In a scenario, you sail a predefined route starting with a briefing and assessment upon completion. What skills can I train with Nautis Home? The scenarios available in Nautis Home are based on the aspects of nautical training navigation, maneuvering, mooring, and anchoring. After the first release, we will continue developing more maritime operations. What types of vessels will Nautis Home have? Nautis Home will contain different types of vessels, such as a tugboat, container vessel, a coaster, inland vessel, luxury yacht, ferry, and more. After the first release, we will continue developing Nautis Home. A big thank you for all your patience and support. We hope you like the new look and the feel of Nautis Home. Look out for next month's update. Yours sincerely, the Nautis Home team. That's the official update from Nautis. There was a comment on last month's video about this game that it was going to be offered as a subscription service rather than being able to buy the game. I don't know if that's true or not. I guess we'll find out in the future. If it is offered only as a subscription, I'll probably pass because I don't do those kind of things. I'm not going to get billed monthly for a game. No way. 
if that's true, then I'll just wait for it to go on sale because with a subscription, they probably won't sell as many units and it'll go out in the bargain bin. So I'll get it for a good deal. But anyways, thanks for watching this month's update and keep an eye out for next month and we'll see you on the next video.